Hi, I'm Carol Chalk. I'm from the Tompkins County Legislature. And I want to thank you for being here, uh, but I also want to invite you to come to our chambers, and at least a few of you, at least a few of you, and, and give us some of the information that you're talking about here. Uh, so far, Tompkins County Legislature has been very active in the anti-fracking discussion. We've passed a lot of resolutions uh, against this process. Uh, this one is a tough one. Uh, there's a tax base here, there's a community that's relied on this plant, and there needs to be a transition. The legislature needs to talk about this transition and figure out ways that we can assist the private investment, work together with the private investment, to go towards a renewable future. Yes. We need, but in order to do that, the way we've gotten to where we are with the state, with the DEC, with the governor, with the legislators, has been with information. Not by force, but with information. And we need more information. We need the kind of information that Hillary and Michael just gave. Um, we're being offered a false choice here. Okay. New York State has some lofty aims. New York State has something called the New York State Energy Highway Blueprint. That blueprint calls for over $50 billion of investment in a renewable energy future, in, a, in an energy future, some of which is renewable. Only $500 million of that plan calls for investment in repowering old plants. We want to be part of the discussion. Why should our community be the one selected to repower? But also, why should our community be forced to have its power plant closed down without a just transition? That's got to be part of the discussion. We want, our Tompkins County Legislature has indicated in the past that we want clean jobs here that we want to, to expand Solarize Tompkins, to have people building a renewable future, and we ought to be able to work with the private sector as well. We've done that in other realms. So I'll invite you to come. Are we meet the first and third Tuesdays of the month at the county courthouse. We're gonna be moving across the street, but uh, for now we're still at the courthouse. So Tuesday night at 5.30, we don't have time for you know endless speakers, but a few well-placed speakers at 5.30 this Tuesday night would be good to let us know what you said out here and why. Um, that To let them know that we, so there's also the PSC process. This whole thing, well, while we, can you hear you? Well, can you hear me now? Yes. Into the top? Well, then, now? Can you hear me better now? Oh, sorry. Okay. So this whole thing has been subject to a process being being implemented by the PSC, the New York State Public Service Commission. The DEC knows that we're out here on anti-fracking. The governor knows we're out here. The legislature knows we're out here. But I've learned new meanings over this plant to the notion of systematized policy because while we're out there talking to the DEC, the PSC is out there busily implementing what they are in business to do, which is New York State's energy policy. And they're implementing it. And they don't know that we're out here. So I would encourage everybody to weigh in on the PSC process for this case. There's a docket, you go online, PSC, and you get to where you, you the public comment, you look for case number 12-E, hyphen 0577, uh, Sam, you'll put that on the website, and weigh in about these choices. But what I think is that we're being offered a false choice. Yes. That case number, 12E0577, offers only two choices. It offers a choice to repower this plant with natural energy, uh, with, with natural gas, or it offers a choice to close it down. Well, that's not good for the community. It's not good for the energy that we need. And there's investors willing to put $300 million in. There's no reason why we can't expand those choices. Why we, why we can't be, why we can't follow a path, a, a different path on that New York State energy highway. Let's ask the PSC to do that. Let's go to the plant owner and ask them to come with us to do that because they can make money. We can have a clean future. 
Our children can have a clean future, and that's the path we should go on. To date, that's the path the Tompkins County Legislature has advocated, but this is a tough one. And unless we go, unless you come to us with the notion of how we can do this together, and with information, hard information, and unless we take this case to the PSC, this will happen. So I encourage you to both weigh in on the process that ends July 27th, July 27th, but also weigh into the PSC that the process as they've defined it isn't working for our community. So with that, I don't know if that's the message that you came here with, but that's that's where I come from on the county legislature. I thank you for being out here. It's going to take all of us at legal levels, at at the people's level and at governance levels, as well as state administrative levels, to build a renewable future. So thank you. Hi. Um, 